This is Mark Gallimore in the Center for Online Learning and Innovation here with some quick tips on using Google Calendar to organize your life. So here at Canisius College, as a student, you have Google Apps for Education, a series of applications that are similar to what you might get with a private Gmail account, but they generally have a few more features. From within Google Drive or within your Canisius College email, you can click this tic-tac-toe board and you'll be given a longer list or a set of icons depicting various applications you have available. One of these is Google Calendar. Calendar is a pretty easy to use scheduling and calendar app. So you've got a day view showing you each hour. You've got a week view showing you the days of the week broken down by hour month view, and so on and so forth. An agenda view will show you a longer list of things that you have on one or more calendars. Let's go back to week view. I can build various calendars, say for example one for my coursework here at Canisius College, another calendar perhaps for a day job that I have off campus, and I can turn these calendars on and off to see filtered views of various events. Creating an event is pretty simple. The straightforward way to do that is simply to click on the calendar where you want that event to be and click Create. If you want to send an invitation to friends for a calendar event, edit that event, add their email addresses, click Add, click Save, and it'll send them an invitation. That's kind of a slower way to do it. A really quick way to create events rapid fire is click this drop down right here next to create. Click add. And Google will create the event pretty quick. What if I wanted to create a series of events for a reoccurring uh, session of some kind? The most obvious example would be a class I'm taking at Canisius College. I can do that. Instead of having to add each and every class time, I can simply tell Google to repeat a class time. So I'll click on the first instance of that class. And then when I go in to edit the event, I check the box next to repeat and say the class is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So repeats weekly, Monday, and Friday. Now, this isn't going to be for the rest of my life. I'm going to say these series of repeating events or this series it ends on, oh, let's say, December 20th, 2016, after the end of the semester. I click Done, I click Save, and now Google has installed a class time session every week until the end of the semester. Bear in mind Google Calendar also feeds to uh, apps on mobile devices as well. And for more tips and tricks, on using technology, check out the Center for Online Learning and Innovation's YouTube channel.